Yeah. What's Alan, your name? You I, want, I saw you. I saw you. What's your name? Day. Bailey. What's yours? Alan. 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 Yeah. I just want you to know that I'm sorry. Okay. I I wanted you to know. You were at EDC. I was. I was. I tried to hug you, and you like pushed me off. Yeah. Rick, Rick, Touch me. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. I was trying to be awesome. Don't put your hands on me. I need to ride with God. what you need to do. You need to fear a holy God taking you off the face of this earth. That's what you need to do, sinner. You need to fear a holy God taking you off the face of this earth. People want you to trust your love. You know what I mean? People want you to know that the people I know that I'm loving you. Know. And I like, you need Jesus Christ. Yeah, but the people hell, around man. you want to know that you that you are loved by you're them you're also. Hell, man. Maybe. What's your name again? Bailey. Bailey. Alan? I'm Alan. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna burn hell, Bailey. That's cool. It's not cool, man. That's not cool. I mean, you know, you got obviously, obviously, cool. obviously have some some moral compass still have. left in you. Yeah, yeah. I think so, everyone does. Yeah, that's because God gave it to you. So. Yield to God, man. Repent. I, God gave you the conscience. He gave you a heart. That's why you know to do right. That's why you know to do wrong. So do do what's right. Do what's right. I, I'm doing what's right. Then you need to do. The only way to do what's right is to repent. The only way to truly do what's right is, is to repent, man. The only way to truly get right with God is to forsake your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ, Bailey. Otherwise, hell fire. And you've sinned against God. The Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's why we need forgiveness. You have a soul. God says, all souls are mine. So the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. You sin, you're going to die. And he's talking about spiritual death. You have a soul, belongs to God. But if you can't enter into the kingdom of God with your sin, that's why you need Jesus Christ. He cleanses you from all sin. That life you're living, that lifestyle, I was right there with you four years ago. But I gave up. I cried out to God. I knew I was on my way to hell. I cried out to God for mercy, and He saved me, man. He gave me a new heart. He gave me a new mind. He gave me. He has His word. I can understand His word. I can understand spiritual things now because I'm born again, Bailey. So please, man, just forsake your wicked way. You got, you got a Bible? I have one. I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got a Bible right now. If you want. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm good. Right, I have man. one at home. Well, you're not good. Well, but you could be good. Yeah. I says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So God ordered me to EDC to come get in your way, and you ordered your own steps. Yeah. yeah. But the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. That's why I need Jesus Christ. Your way seems right. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 25, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end of that way is death. Your way seems right to you now, but it's going to lead to hell fire. The end of all ways, death. Well, we're all going to die, yeah, because we sinned. But your way that you're going is talking about spiritually. It's not talking about spiritually, it's talking about carnal way that you're going. You think is right, but the end of that way is death. And that's talking about spiritual death. It's talking about hell fire. Right? But the Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So life is in Christ. Outside of Christ, you don't have life. You're spiritually dead because of your sin. But when you receive Jesus Christ, you come to life. I'm actually baptized. But yeah, but you're not born again. What is so, the difference? Yeah, so Jesus said in John 3 3, he said, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So baptism doesn't mean anything if you're not born again. I thought that was the whole thing with baptism. Well, no, no. So baptism is only a symbol of obedience to God. So. What Jesus is saying in John 3 is you must be born again. See, what happens is you become born again, and then you get baptized. So baptism doesn't save you. you got to be born again, and baptism is only a symbol of obedience. What, what does it mean to be born again? So like to be just born again, accepting Christ so, in yes. Your heart? So, yes. So I've to be, done that too. Also. Yeah, but you didn't oh, mean not, it though. I, I mean, nothing happened. I right? meant it years ago. I don't. But, I, but nothing, I've evolved as an individual, and I don't. I don't but align nothing, with that. Belief nothing anymore. happened, though, right? I mean, it felt like something happened then. But I, as an individual, I've grown up. I've viewed more. Like concepts of religion. Did you I really even understand the gospel opinion. at that age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, I would say, yeah. Did you I, understand I that you need very to fear? religious when I was did, young? Did you need to understand that you need to fear God? Um, I mean, what do you mean fear? Because the Bible says that by mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So, if you really didn't fear God, then you really didn't repent of your sins. Because the only way to repent of your sins is if you fear God first. So you can't repent if you don't fear God. I can tell you all day to repent, 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 and I should. 
because that's that's going down in your heart and in your mind and you're thinking about that but you need to fear god you need to understand you're going to get hell god is going to put you in hell except you repent because he can't have sin in his kingdom he will not let you come to him with your sin so your time to get right is now you're in a place called the valley of decision where you're living your life the bible says there's multitudes in the valley of decision you're living your life you have a decision to make you have an eternity to spend somewhere and you're either going to spend eternity in hell or you're going to go to heaven and jesus is the only way so you're choosing not to do it you're just choosing to go to hell well i'm choosing to, to investigate my options a well don't in, i'm here to tell you don't investigate your options your option jesus said Enter I feel like that's what every person that's telling me about religion is saying, though, and that's the problem. It's like, how do I have so, so many conflicting so Jesus opinions is, here? And Jesus there. is the way. Jesus is the truth. In your heart, yes. No, that's what he says. He's the only one that died for our sins and rose again from the grave. There's no one else did that. A lot of other people telling me a lot of different things. Sure, about religion, but though, no one else. So you sin. Do you agree with that? Oh yeah, I think okay. everyone has. So no, no one's free so of sin. So here, here's here's why Christianity is the only way because Jesus is the only one that atones for your sins. No other false prophet. None of these prophets out here. No one else atoned for your sins. Jesus is the only one that was born. He came down here. Right, he was God. He came off the throne, was born into this world as a man. He lived a perfect, sinless life. He went to the cross, right, and died for our sins. So he took your sin upon him. But that doesn't mean you're forgiven. That means you can be forgiven because he is the sacrifice once and for all. So what how you receive that sacrifice, how you receive that atonement is to forsake your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. When you do that, he saves you from your sins. No other man did that in this whole world. No one else did that. Only Jesus Christ did that. That's why he said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No man comes into the Father except by me. You did just say all of that, though. What? All of those words just came out of your mouth. What? I, I can't even repeat them. You, there was, you memorized scripture. I can't if you just said them, though. He's not the only one that no. said them. You just said them. Well, yeah, I'm saying it right now. Oh, I'm, from, I'm, I'm quoting the scripture. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. You've got to be really, born again. I didn't really think about that. You've got to be born again. Yeah. So to be born again is to forsake your sin and to believe in Christ. You haven't done that. You got baptized, but what did it do for you? It didn't do anything. It didn't save you. So if you're truly born again, like myself and Victor here, the Bible says this, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all has become new. When you truly get saved, your old life, that old uh, Bailey, dies and a new Bailey comes forth. That's, that's what being born again is. God puts his spirit within you. He regenerates you. He cleans your heart. He gives you a new heart. The Bible says, a new heart will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the old stony heart of your flesh, and I'll give you a heart of flesh. So he gives you a new heart. He gives you a spirit. He gives you his heart. He puts it within you. And now you live holy by the grace of God. And it's not some burden, you know, it's not, it's not burden, it's not a burden to follow Jesus Christ when you're born again. If you're not born again and you try to follow Jesus Christ, you're always going to fall down. You're always going to sin. You're always going to go back to your sin. You're always going to sin. It's always going to be there because you're not forgiven. So you got to be forgiven, man. Forsake your sin, Bailey. Thank you. Appreciate you coming on, man. God bless. Have a good day. You too.